this is the one that really controls a lot of the functions, your spiritual functions, and it controls the flow of melanin and energy inside your body. Wheat is the one, is one of the few plants in this creation that stimulates and targets, you know, your melanin. It targets this energy. Jamaica has decriminalized marijuana. Ganja will be decriminalized in Jamaica this year. That's the word from Science and Technology Minister and Leader of Government Business in the House of Representatives, Philip Colbert. Me love the more brown and everybody know. My mother said, Kali, you know, he stays so. But I saw me that they said it's so, I saw it's a figure. Man, man, do it just the part of my desire. Because I feel like it's kind of empty after it's in. Alright, you're all going to. Night nurse to take away. Watch your inner that. Nice pretty girl from Water Lane. I need a night nurse to take away my pain. Watch where you started. Okay. Nice pretty girl from Water Lane. I need a night nurse to take away my pain. Just give me some. I love my hair. I love my hair. I love my hair. I love my hair. What are you supposed to do? Just see, are you repetition? I love my hair. I love my hair. Hello, I'm Courtney Russell, freelance video creator, photographer, and recreational marijuana user. This is Cali Green. Cali Green is also a recreational marijuana user. Not only that, Cali Green is also a musician. For three months, I've been documenting Cali on his musical journey. Cali, like many other young Jamaicans, is an aspiring artist one looking for his big break. From writing sessions to studio recordings. Throughout the entire experience, there's one key thing that was always prevalent. One key thing that was always there. His love for marijuana. Yes, right. So who is Kali Green? Uh, Kali Green is a creative artist, you know, because Kali Green not only do music, you know, Kali Green uh, does photography, um, graphic designing, and a little bit of video editing, but yeah, so Kali Green is a creative artist, I like to create, whether it be sounds or images, I just like to create, so Kali Green is a creative artist. Okay, so what we're doing today, Kali? What we're doing today? Uh, <laughs> well, we're here at, a, at a in another interview for um, the the art show at the Rasta Village next next week or next two weeks. Yeah. So just doing a small interview and you know with Kali Green and my music and things so that the people can really get a you know like a feel of who Kali Green is. Yeah. Well, my band. Uh, first of all, it's called the Rebels Band and it's an acoustic band. Yeah, we perform acoustically. So we have uh, an acoustic guitar, we have um, drums, and uh, we have maracas and some other per percussion instruments. We have rain stick. Yeah, so it's really an acoustic band. And we have um, it's seven of us. Yeah, you have me, you have Rush Rebel that does uh, vocals, Shanika Soulchild vocals as well, um, you have Tija. She does the, the shakes and the other percussion. We have um, Verily and um, Tafari and the drums and the other percussion instruments. And then we have Tariq. Tariq plays the guitar, you know what I mean? Tariq is well tough as a bit. Body's thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, and um, oh, 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 we come together. It's actually a long story, but it's actually a cool story. 
you know what I mean? Because it's like it's like the the, the, the energies brought us together. Yeah, put it at that. Because it's not like say yo, I get up one day and, and, and send out an invitation to say yo, I create a band and who want forward. No, it's actually a a, a spiritual thing because it kinda come together spiritually, you see me? So yeah, that's that's it. We said the herb is the healing of the nation And it came here from the start of creation So what is that can't come in the station The better no say I'm me a first round And we don't know the greater me I'm going to be number one But the one that's evil and she keep me calm She had a rough heart from the station But we don't care so we don't want them up on me And smoke like train, smoke like train Every single day me and smoke like train so, Callie. Yeah. What's it? Tell, tell us about the, the movement. Ah, the movement. Um. Well, the movement is. Well, first of all, it's called the uprising movement, and um, it consists of. Reggae artists are conscious, conscious artists and uh, um, photographers, videographers, you have um, painters, you know what I mean, do a, do a creative, creative group, you know what I mean, so it's really a creative group, um, conscious creative group, you see me, and we, we come together and create a thing where you have the, the Hotbox Club, the Hotbox Club jam sessions where every friday or every every last friday of each month you know what i mean we we come together and we jam you know what i mean just with a, posi a positive energy a positive vibe together you know what i mean yeah so that is really what the movement is about and it's really it's really for um because when i really check it coming up as a young artist or not even as an artist as a creative person most of the opportunities them the kingston you see me so them no, we don't really have that avenue in Mobe and that is that is what I I'm really trying to do, you know what I mean, along with, with others a part of the move the, the movement, you know what I mean? We're trying to create that that avenue or that space for creatives in Mobe where, where they can express themselves, you know what I mean, just like uh, you have others in, in Kingston doing, you know what I mean? So yeah that is really the 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 main focus of the movement and it's also to um up the youths them consciousness in Mobe, you know because I mean? most of the youths them in Mobe, them them really ha don't really have that 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 conscious influence you know what i mean because they have mostly mostly um violent music you know what i mean and you know the whole scamming thing so what we we trying to do now is to uplift them consciousness and make them focus on you know what I mean some positive things so that is also like one of one of the the aim of the movement you know what I mean to up the consciousness of the, the consciousness of the youth in Mobe and you know surrounding parishes and you know ultimately the whole Jamaica yeah. project now the reason for this 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 documentary is to showcase um, the recreational use of marijuana um, by a uh, you know a creative person me you know what I mean being a creative artist and how I use marijuana on a recreational basis to you know what I mean to inspire and motivate my, my creation you know what I mean so uh, I put this 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 whole thing together to you know show 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 how as as i said before and i mean show how creatives can use the herbs to you know inspire motivate and you know help their 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 creation so i also added um other other creatives like you know i mean other artists because um i have also a mixtape which is also called recreational herbs and i mean to really really you know some songs put together to give you that that chill vibe or that recreational aspect of the herbs you know what i mean so it's really some feel good songs yeah and it's mostly collabs with me and other 
upcoming artists that is a part of the whole movement, you know what I mean? Um, you have Chavez Ilmatic, Rajaim, Odi, Jamuda, um, we have Rush uh, Karma, Karma Crew, yeah. So it's really, it's really a hopeful thing, as I say, it's a hopeful vibe. And that, it, well, actually working on the mixtape right now, so in, in due time it will be ready. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah, I use herbs to to motivate me, inspire me, and to also help to you know calm my nerves, especially when like our performances I normally steam a good a good load before you know before I go on stage. You know what I mean? To just you know calm my nerves and keep me cool. So, so that I can you know, really put out the message or, or show my creativity or show my art, you know what I mean? So, yeah, herb really inspire me and helps me, you know what I mean, and motivate me. So, that is really why I, I, I smoke herbs still well. And I don't, and I don't just smoke herbs alone, you know. I, 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 I vape herbs, I steam herbs, drink herbs, eat herbs. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? So, it's just herbs, you know what I mean? It's just love herbs, as the name suggests. Kali Green, you know what I mean? So, just love herbs, you know what I mean? Yo, we're here at the Hotbox Club. Um, we're going to be conducting a couple of interviews and recording some live uh, music. Uh, so, see how the night goes. I must say Bob sing about the mental slavery already, you know. So that's why them bun guns are called. They want to keep in a mental law. What they want to keep in a people? Mental law. Mental slavery. So you see, the reason ganja is illegal is to do what? Is to keep in what? And what we do, we not the slavery. How we do a smoke every culture bunny. If you want a piece bug, a hair chest. If you want a five piece bug, yeah. it's five times better. You understand what I'm saying? You get a gun bills. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you measure your thing in a ounce or in a gram or in a pound, at the end of the day, a ganja will I deal with. Isn't everybody need a lighter for light up them split book of a smoke I grade. So 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 it's not my lighter or your lighter, it's our lighter, you see me? She's rolling! It's so proud. I smoke marijuana because in my personal experience it has helped me to achieve a higher state of consciousness in that 
being a scholar for 18 of my 20 years of life, I've been exposed to so much information. And as a trait of intelligent persons is to choose that which is beneficial for them and that which helps them in a circumstance and that which is proven to work because that is the nature of science in itself. Now, based on research and all this information that I've gathered, along with personal experience, I have to say that this herb has helped me so much to deal with so many things around me. And not only that, it is not something that is toxic, it is not made in a lab, it comes out on the ground. So, seal, why not utilize that which God made to help us? If you look back to the ancient Egyptians, every ancient civilization that there ever was, marijuana was used as medicine, as healing for recreation and other purposes. So why not go back to that route? Um, what would you say to convince others that uh, the stereotype of weed smokers being lazy or, or non-contributing members to society? You want to prove that stereotype as wrong? How do you prove that stereotype wrong as a re recreational and medical smoker? Just Google me. <laughs> you may see all the work that we do. You know, it is there. To me, it, 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 it's more of a, it's more of a stimulus, a stimuli. Like they get inspiration and them things. They get what man said. We we help me face face forget all like all the all the insecurities and just express myself more. That's why people can relate to my music. They get what man said. But the medical reasons is only one part to the full story, you know. This whole battle for legalization to get medical benefits and, you know, to partake in it economically is just one part of it. Because once you can access this thing on an interdimensional level, once you can understand this plant on a holistic level, it plays so much more to you than just an economic benefit, you know. And all of that still plays a part in it because then you would be able to know how to utilize this thing, you know, to benefit the rest of the population, you know, in many, many different ways. Tell me, um, there's a song that you have tied to Leave Our Alone. Yeah. What's the story behind that song? Because listening to that song, it tells a, a story. Oh, me interpret, it tells a story of a young youth, um, just that smoke of marijuana. Yeah. I grew up in a couple of families, probably like them see how it's leave the earth and smoke it. Yeah. Is, 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 that, is that your story? Well, alright, uh, I see that song now. It's a true story, but the storyline never really go as how it really go in reality, you see me? But uh, you see, like how I say, my mother said, leave my one. It's not really just my mother alone, you know, it's my whole family, you see me? So, Right, you know what I mean? I couldn't really just say, yo, my whole family say, yo, leave marijuana, you see me? So I just narrate down to mother and really tell a story. But the true story behind that true story, you know, is that um, my people, them, because I mean, grow, I grew up in a, in a Christian home, you know what I mean? And grew, grew up as a Christian youth, so weed smoking wasn't really a thing for me, you know what I mean? Even though my father was a raster man, I never. Grew up with my father, so smoking wasn't a thing for me, and him is me. So, like when I see other youth smoking, it never really tempt me or anything. But is when I leave high school now and start go come see community college, you know what I mean? That time I start smoking, and from that time, you know what I mean? I really get get hooked to the smoking smoking weed thing, you know what I mean? And it's been just weed from them time, been idle from them time, never really. Never smoke cigarette and grab on them thing. I smoked cigarette before, but wasn't my thing, you know what I mean? So, being herb from that time, so now my people them kind of find out one of the times, say, say me that me that smoke herbs and thing, you know what I mean? So, they want tell me, say, yo, fi, love the weed alone and thing, and you know what I mean? Say, like, oh, me saying the, the the third verse, I'm say, um, she said, um, left for alone boy two A's and she said, the weed go, you know, I'm end up in a earth 
and thing is really that my whole fam family that say like you know the sweet thing go go mess me up and things so you must say all oh, the herbs are the herbs and well I never really love it still me you know what I mean my eye and smoke my herbs smoke when I go to school or or when my well you have to take out a father you can't take that <laughs> so when you know what I mean so when 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 you know free time and thing you know what I mean that's always hide and smoke until and but now you know what I mean I grew up and thing and even after my turn rust and thing them really kinda low me up with the herbs thing. Them not really them still not like it in you know? Cause you know all of my songs, weed songs them I really hear my talk about my, my still ask my mother not really love the herbs thing. So my family them them still not love the herbs thing but you know what I mean them just know say it's my thing that I know say a colleague you know, you know what I mean? So the herbs are for born in me. Yeah. Sitting here kicking back with my brothers Right now me cool, chill, proper Spliffy down my mouth and me feel so dapper Right and now me flyer than upper A life without the weed I cannot see The one you're soon no on and me can't believe The one you see give you bun your man Spliffy big and keep your crap a man a height at least Travel to the east, travel to the west Travel and be you become me a big and big I love my land. I love my land. Hey, travel on now, travel on so. Even if I see a semi, I figure it out. I love my land. Love my herbs, love my Mary Jane Nice pretty girl from Water Lane No need no night nurse to take away my pain Just give me safe cause it is the highest chain And if you see me upon the corner Smoking marijuana Don't you take no picture and send go give my wonder Move from Anya to a informer No matter why you try you cannot stop the marijuana Steve, travel to the west Travel up the hill because me up you get the best I love my life I love my life I love my life I love my life Travel up now Travel down south Even if I see it Let me up you get it now I love my life I love my life Well everybody knows I'm a ganja man on a cigarette forget no cancer yo only i great cool my anger down light up another one as the first one done reminiscing on my spliff when i ain't got none been smoking great since i was young so no babylon can't try stop me now must you want it up and i could get tumbled down east travel to the west travel up the hill because we have to get the best i am
Go, go.